government was given uh, various administrations played a significant role in terms of well uh, the thing is that they got the Ryan White program okay uh huh we're ready. Thank you and welcome back to the second segment of the show for today. We're talking to Mr. Ron Crowder and he's given us some information in reference to the uh, status of HIV and AIDS in uh, Nashville. And uh, Mr. Crowder, I would imagine when we talk about the status of HIV and uh, AIDS in Nashville, we can generally say the uh, same thing in reference to that if this is uh, current in Nashville, that this is probably the same Absolutely. situation Absolutely. everywhere. That's why we wanted to approach it from that perspective. Well, Nashville is a little unique in that Number one, we're in the South. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, it's approximately 21,000 people living with HIV in the city. Mm -hmm. About 200 people get infected each year. Mm -hmm. While HIV in Nashville is down by 30, approximately 30%, mm -hmm. and it has been over the last four or five years. Mm -hmm. We still are the 22nd city, mm -hmm. number 22 mm -hmm. in the United States with the highest uh, HIV rate. Mm -hmm. And that's due to poverty, being in the South, lack of education, mm -hmm. lack of a pr uh, appropriate health care. That's a lot of many reasons. Mm -hmm. Drug use. And, and uh, drug use is a good segment uh, segue for what I need to say now. Mm -hmm. Right now, although... Uh, Needless change is not um, legal in uh, Nashville. Mm -hmm. We know that needless change reduce HIV rates in the injection uh, drug use population. Mm -hmm. So street works, you know, uh, we just have to be proactive on that on that front. So we do provide uh, sterile syringes for people mm -hmm. who are actively using. While we don't condone drug use, mm -hmm. we do know that they're going to use drugs whether they have clean needles or not. Yeah, uh -huh. So in order to reduce HIV infection rates, we provide uh, mm -hmm. sterile syringes for people who are actively using. But we also offer them information and try to help them mm -hmm. move to uh, get into drug treatment mm -hmm. and we so we do that also the same thing with hepatitis C hepatitis we have probably 50 or 60 percent hepatitis C positivity rate in our testing now what do you mean when you say uh, if HIV and uh, this, you've got another disease that you, you, you hepatitis C. Hepatitis C. Now, what is that all about? Hepatitis C is a disease that affects the uh, liver. Uh -huh. So people would have, like me, I had hepatitis C. Mm. The good thing about me, and, the, and I'm just been blessed by the Lord. I was able to mm -hmm. uh, uh, stick around, or the Lord kept me living long enough mm -hmm. to see uh, uh, a medication that come through that was that people could tolerate. Mm -hmm. uh, ten, when I first came on the show, I had hepatitis C, but the only drug they had was interferon. Mm -hmm. And it was horrible. People would rather die than to take that mm -hmm. drug, and a lot of them did. Mm -hmm. But now they have a new drug on the market that clears hepatitis C mm -hmm. in 12 weeks, you take the pill for 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. Granted, I'm, 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 I'm still blessed because I'm a veteran, mm -hmm. but the pill cost, that 12, that 12 week supply of that drug cost $96,000. Mm -hmm. But because I'm a veteran, you I was able, able to get, get it. Uh -huh. And most, a lot of people is able to get it too. One way or the yeah, other. Yeah, uh -huh. but, uh -huh. I, but there's still several people that that drug is out of range for them. Mm -hmm. But thank God that I, now I'm cured of, of, of uh, Hepatitis C. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of my friends died with hepatitis C because they had cirrhosis of the liver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But also, the other thing is, uh, uh, and we, if we can get, and and people uh, talk to me about all the time. Aren't you promoting drug use? And I say, look, mm -hmm. no, we're not promoting drug use because we give away clean syringes. Mm -hmm. They're going to use drugs anyway. One way or the other. Uh -huh. Whether they have to use a sterile syringe uh -huh. or whether they share a syringe with somebody else, they're going to shoot the dope. Mm -hmm. And my job is to keep them healthy, 
long enough mm -hmm. that I can get them the help that they need mm -hmm. through drug treatment. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we do needless change. The other thing, the other, uh, and I, I was going to say, yeah, Nashville is uh, the 22nd, mm -hmm. number 22 in the country, the country. Uh -huh. for HIV infection. Mm -hmm. We have approximately, I said, yeah, 21,000 people. Mm -hmm. The other thing is what's the reason we can see uh, uh, the, end. the end of AIDS is because they have a uh, a new they have a new uh, intervention called PrEP, uh -huh. P R E P, mm -hmm. and that's pre-exposure prophylaxis. Mm -hmm. 